Willie D Live. A few years ago, me and you had a conversation mm-hmm. about same sex relationships. And you had a very <laughs> interesting point that you made about that when I was talking about, you know, I'm the traditional man for man. A man for woman. I was about to say, that ain't traditional. Yeah, a traditional <laughs> man for woman, right? Mm-hmm. And you said something to the effect of, how do we know that's the right way? Mm-hmm. How, how, how do we know? Or how do we don't know? Well, I, I don't think there is a right or a wrong, especially when it comes to sexuality or sexual preferences. Um, that usually stems from religious uh, undertones and undercurrents uh, that, you know, trickle all throughout our society, albeit Christian, Catholic, Muslim. Although Jesus never said a word about homosexuality. But aside from that, um, a lot of people say it's not natural because two people can't procreate or two gay people can't procreate. Um, to that which I always respond is like, well, you have to define natural for me. Um, and if you define it by the dictionary definition of natural, then it's, you know, happenstance or things occurring in nature and homosexuality is all in nature there's animals all across the animal kingdom that participate in homosexual behavior and so what animals participate in homosexual behavior bunch man dolphins i think penguins a bunch of them there's a long litany list of them like i don't have it pulled up i'm easily well i've seen dogs but i've never seen dogs do it like i'm unsure if dogs like females but i ain't never seen a dog try to do a dog I, I, male I, or male. I'm unsure. Or I'm female or female. I, I'm un, I'm unsure, but I know dolphins do. Uh, I know. I ain't been around that many dolphins. Yeah, but but maybe. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no, no, it's I'll not maybe. It's it's true. I'll it's, I mean, it's, it's not, I, I I didn't. <laughs> it's not my proclamation. You know, what I mean? man and woman. He created them. Paul spoke about homosexuality as a chosen vessel of the Messiah Yahweh Shai. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rabbi Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this truth. Sing an honor to the Yalat. Peace and bless to the one third, and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Now, you heard the beginning of Arian Foster. He's uh, an ex NFL player saying that Yahweh Shai say anything about, you know, the moles or the LGBT, the alphabet community, or whatever you want to call them. But Jay trying to be too wise in their own eyes. My thing is, how did you get here? Did you get here by two women? Did you get here by two men? Or did you get here by a man and a woman? I'm going to use logic. No at hominin attacks, no red herrings. I'm going to stick to the subject and I'm going to use the scriptures. Because Jake trying to be so smart like the scripture says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you want to play tricks on your own mind. Oh, show me what show me what is what is um this and that. How do you explain what's real affection? How do you explain like you define it for me? Like if that's the lifestyle you want to live, by all means, that's on you. But don't try to change something that's not broken or try to fix something that's not broken. In the beginning, it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. But I just want to make a few points here in the scriptures and get on with it to prove that, yeah, the Messiah did speak about it. But but he spoke about it through who? Paul. But before I do go, let's read this. Matthew 19 and 4 through 6. And he answered and said unto them, have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, not father and father, not mother and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Neither shall, forgive me, wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God the Most High have joined together, let no man put asunder. Man and woman was to come together to procreate. The Lord said in the book of Genesis to be fruitful and multiply. Can't do that with the same genders together trying to multiply. I'm just using common knowledge. Jake has to make it so difficult. You know? 
First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 37. Listen, listen to what Paul said. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So when he said, or oh, the Messiah didn't say anything about the LGBTQ community, but listen to what Paul said. When Paul was knocked off a horse, it was told to the other apostles that Paul, that Saul, I'm sorry, Saul at the time, that Saul, whose name was changed to Paul, was a chosen vessel. A chosen vessel. Okay? So let's listen to what Paul said or wrote down as a commandment of the Lord. Romans chapter 1, verse 22 through 27 and verse 32. And I'm going to close out. This is for you, Arian Foster. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. That's enough said. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds on four footed beasts and creepy things. It comes to point. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Pay attention. Who changed the truth, this is for you, who changed the truth of God into a lie. Messiah never said nothing about that. This is Paul speaking. Paul said anything I write is the commandment of the Lord, right? Wherefore, well, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator <clears throat> who was blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God, the most high gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use in that which is against nature. What's a woman's natural use in nature? To become impregnated and to give birth. And that can only happen with her ovaries and a man's sperm. Let that sink in, which shouldn't be that deep. But <laughs> let that sink in. Verse 27. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural of, natural use of the woman, Burn in their who? What's the natural use of a woman for a man? We're talking about in nature, just in nature, sex, sex. And then after that, for her to very end and, and and to mold that you bring culture to the children. I said when they get to a certain age, then the father can further the learning process for the son predominantly and primarily i'm sorry primarily and also uh his daughter to show her the cer certain affection that a father should show to his daughter okay let's get back verse 27 and likewise also the manly with the natural use of the woman burn in their own lust oh and their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly hmm And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met. The recompense of their error. Let that sink in. Now I'm going to close out. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Wow. That's in the same chapter, y'all. Worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. I.e., Pride month in June. But guess what comes before destruction? Pride is here. So what's going to follow after that? Destruction. So as you sit there on Willie D's podcast, speaking as if you know what's going on, you have not a clue, my guy. Yeah, the Lord said it was a problem to do that. You know what? Let me do you one even better. Then I'm going to close out. I got one more waiting for y'all. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 
verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Yeah. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. I don't know what book you're reading, my guy, but the dang show ain't the scriptures. Right? And remember what Leonidas said about the Romans. He called them boy lovers. I wonder why. With that being said, I pray you was edifying, fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Call my Sha'Allah, Muffla Babal, Shalom.